Brought to you by Dockers Khakis, the preferred khaki inside the red zone. Hey, nice pants. Back here in Studio 7 in Hollywood, Terry Bradshaw, James Brown, let's take you right to the action. Eagles are 13-0 and when leading at the half, leading the Cowboys by four here. Giants and Cardinals, both starting quarterbacks knocked out. Giants on top by a field goal. Don Beebe, scary moment as Benny Blades come over from his safety spot, hits him in the head, has to leave the football game, does return. Now, Barry Sanders, third and 15. Folks, this is why he is the most exciting back since Gail Sayers to ever come into the NFL. This touchdown run, over 100 yards rushing in the first half for Barry Sanders. Now, Favre, shut out last week after 17 straight games, throwing a touchdown, finds Terry Mickens in the back of the end zone. This touchdown, number two touchdown on the day for Favre, pack up by four over the Lions. Tony Dungy's Buccaneers have given up only 39 points in the last three games, leading the Bears by four. You think Jerome Bettis is fired up for today's game? Oh, Jerome Bettis is extremely fired up. This 50-yard touchdown up the middle, safety over commits. Now the speed for a big man. 110 yards rushing in the first half alone for Bettis as the Steelers. Ha, you knew this was going to happen. 21-3 all over the Rams. Falcons trying to avoid tying a franchise record for futility, looking for their first victory, notching a three-point lead at the half. Chargers by seven over the coach. Harbaugh had 180 pass without an interception. He's thrown four in the first half. Vinny Testaverde, 20 touchdowns on the season. That ties his career high. What are we doing when we come back, TV? We're going to do choice cuts. How's that? When we come back, it sounds good from here. <laughs> Growing up without fathers is a serious problem today in our nation. Too many come from dysfunctional families or childhoods of abuse, drugs, and violence. He's Darren Woodson, defensive back for the Super Bowl champion Dallas Cowboys. I made it thanks to my mom and the agencies and the programs that you helped to make possible for millions of children through the United Way. Today in our country, too many children don't have a father to teach them the important values that a father can give to his child. A male role model to look up to. That's why he's a United Way volunteer here in Dallas. These are some of the young people from the Campfire program. We know NFL players are role models and mentors to these kids who need someone to look up to. Our NFL fans support us on the field, and we support them in our local communities, giving children self-esteem so that they can have their own dreams. We want to invite you to join us. Be a United Way volunteer and contributor. The NFL and the United Way, reaching those who need help, touching us all. Yeah! The new America's Most Wanted is back with a vengeance. There's a little boy out there who needs your help. He's got one wish, to find the killer of his mother. Police say this is the man, Ron Flores. He's accused of strangling the boy's mother, then running her over with his car. We need to bring this animal to justice. If you've seen Ron Flores, call 1-800-CRIME-TV and watch the new America's Most Wanted Saturday after Cops. Flores, your history. Welcome back to Hollywood and the Dockers Halftime. You know, we here at Fox NFL Sunday are so pleased that our producer Scott Ackerson has reinstated a look at the plays of October in a piece we like to call Choice Cuts.
Super Bowl 31.